So with that information in mind, it's time to have a discussion about climate. And we have several different kinds of climate patterns. We call them teleconnections. And the one we need to focus on right now is called La Nina. So you may have heard of El Nino. This is the response to that. And so what it is basically is a pattern of when the water in the Pacific near the equator is cooler. We see cooler sea surface temperatures there that affects weather patterns around the world. And again, it's just one of many weather patterns, but it gives us a climate outlook kind of tells us about what weather patterns could make a tendency for certain weather around the US. So when we're in a La Nina phase, that tends to mean warmer than normal temperatures across the southern US and drier than normal conditions from Texas on out to the West Coast. In contrast to that, it tends to mean wetter than normal winter for the Pacific Northwest with a colder than normal stretch for the northern tier of the US and in the Northeast or parts of the Ohio Valley and the Great Lakes, we see wetter than normal conditions there too. It's all because that air sea interaction with those cooler sea surface temperatures affects the jet stream and where that carries storm systems as they move from the west coast of the U.S. to the east coast of the U.S. So with that in mind, for us here in Texas, a few things that we should be ready for in our third La Nina winter is that we'll see those warmer and drier patterns, a tendency for that. Remember, this is our third in a row. This is only the third time this has happened since 1950. Think back to 2020 to 2021, that winter, was the La Nina winter it was the first of this trio and we had the big freeze. So it's not a law that everything will be warm and dry. We actually tend to see highly variable temperatures during this kind of setup. We see those Arctic fronts coming through. That's exactly what happened with the big freeze in 2021, February to be exact. But La Nina is characterized by unusually cold ocean temperatures in the equatorial Pacific. It affects those global weather patterns. And for us, ultimately, what that means is that here in Texas it tends to make things drier and warmer.